increase by 10 p.m. So uh, we're going to be down to the single digits after midnight. Our Parkview a medical camera here showing you uh, Pueblo, West 16th and North Graham. Uh, we've shown this before, so if you've seen it a second time around, apologies. But for those that are looking at this for the first time, this is based on historical data. So uh, past data, of course, you'll notice that uh, high probability for the high country for having a white Christmas. What constitutes a white Christmas is actually having snowpack on the ground. Doesn't necessarily mean flurries are falling. It means you've got snow already on the ground. We only have about an 11% chance here of ever having a white Christmas with snowpack on the ground in the Pikes Peak region. And we know that this year that's probably going to be the case just because of how dry we've been. But there's a chance that we could have a few flurries on Christmas Day. Just a few, just one or two. <laughs> so we'll talk about that uh, right now. First, let's talk about the weekend. We've got a nice little uh, trough draped across the upper Midwest. This is the one that brought us the front earlier this morning. It is going to be very cold tonight in single digits, so it's going to be a frigid start on Saturday and still chilly afternoon highs in the 30s and 40s, but that's actually close to seasonal. So I know it's December. It's supposed to be cold. We're almost officially to winter next week. The winter solstice happens uh, Sunday, though. We actually get a nice little warming trend as a weak little ridge of high pressure builds back across the Intermountain West in the mid south, which means we're going to be a good 10 to 15 degrees warmer on Sunday. So it is going to be a nice day to be outside on Sunday. Another round of moisture coming in across the Pacific Northwest, but that will stay to our north. Uh, we still have a few lingering snow bands here across southeastern Wyoming and uh, really southwestern Nebraska. You can see another little weak band of snow starting to uh, fire up there in that northwest flow uh, just around the Pikes Peak region. So you may be seeing some of the flurries there along Highway 24 and Rama and Simla, but we do not expect any widespread accumulations and no further development with that band of snow uh, should start to off towards the east over the next 30 minutes uh, and really falling apart as it moves towards the border between Kansas and Colorado. Uh, overnight tonight, temperatures are down to the 20s at 10 o'clock, so we are going to fall rapidly into the teens and 20s uh, as we lose that daytime heating, which is of course now in the single digits as we start tomorrow morning. So frigid overnight lows tonight, sub zero temperatures west of I 25, single digits here in El Paso County, and low teens across the Arkansas River Valley. So it will be a slow recovery for us tomorrow in terms of the warmth. We're only making it into the 30s uh, to low 40s across the region. Uh, so 44 degrees is average for this time of year. So you're not talking about anything too extreme tomorrow in terms of the chill in the atmosphere. But maybe you have family visiting from town. You know, when my mom comes to town from Georgia, uh, she would just fall apart with 40 degrees. I mean, let's be honest. So you know what I mean? If you've got family in town, you know, 40s, depending on where they're joining us from, uh, you may need to remind them to wear five sweaters. I don't know. Uh, 40s here across the uh, southeastern plains tomorrow. And then look at this nice and comfortable. Even though we're going to be above average on Sunday, it is going to be very nice and pleasant temperatures in the 50s along and east of I-25. Now here we go through Thursday. I'm jumping ahead because most of next week is dry. Then we get into the day before Christmas Eve, a weak little system coming across the high country and the models have been pretty consistent that we're going to have some unsettled weather as we approach Friday, which is of course Christmas. Eve. So here we are on Friday, cloudy across the state, a possibility of some heavy snow building in for Christmas Day across the central mountains. Now we are still way too far out. We know that this forecast is subject to change, but it does look like some activity will be on the horizon for Christmas weekend across the high country. So if you have to travel in the high country or maybe you have plans to be skiing or visiting family, something you certainly want to keep your eyes on. Temperatures in the 30s for Woodland Park Saturday, then jumping into the 40s on Sunday. And uh, we are looking at our overnight lows finally recovering as we get into early next week. But look at those temperatures, a stretch of 50s and 60s early next week for Pueblo. Uh, so, you know, if you have to travel early in the week, maybe, uh, you know, via car uh, or via car, then, uh, you know, you should have some nice weather across the state uh, for the early part of the week. Colorado Springs, nice weekend ahead, but it is going to feel uh, just like winter Saturday and more like spring on Sunday. All that to say, though, enjoy it. Plenty of sunshine. Yeah, hear, hear about the five sweaters.